The song was God Bless the USA. The year was 1984. I'm Lee Greenwood, and these are the sounds of the time. Early on, I discovered that I had a musical ear, musical talent. Growing up on his grandparents' farm in Sacramento, California, Lee Greenwood was encouraged by family to pursue his passion for music. He'd learned to play the sax and piano and later join a band. I began working nights and with bands and I worked almost all the time through my senior year in high school and left at the age of 16 for Reno, Nevada and started my career as a musician. And then I was there just traveling the Northwest with my band called the Apollos, which meant a Greek god. I don't know why we got that name, but we did. It was almost 20 years before I had my country music career. He worked hard at his music, moving around Nevada and LA, also dealing cards to keep his head above water. It was frightening to know that next week I'm out of work and I don't have anywhere to go or no money. And so it was week to week until I started working reviews and put bands together that worked reviews and, and got very well known for that. While performing his rock and pop act in Vegas, some of the biggest names in the business would stop in. Juliet Prowse, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis, Jack Jones used to come see my show, The Fifth Dimension. Marilyn McCoo became a good friend of mine in The Fifth Dimension. I look back on those, those days and what, you know, that was so creative and I was just really immersed. I was like big time. I'm, I'm really thriving. I'm not really writing original music yet. I'm still writing arrangements, things for other, other artists, and growing as a musician. Every show I played, I did something different. One, I was a dancer and singer. The next one, I'm a bass player. The next, I'm a piano player. And that's when people began to recognize me as a singer more than anything. In the late 70s, Larry McFadden, who was country singer Mel Tillis's bass player and band leader, heard the raspy voiced singer's show and invited him down to Nashville. I went, Nashville? I was like, Pfft. you know, I can admire what you do there, but uh, I said, I'm, I don't think that's for me. I mean, I, my background is rhythm and blues and rock and roll, you know, pop whatever. There's something about the continuity of family and the traditions of family in the South that's a little different than the rest of the United States. Country music is a representative of that kind of feeling. His first album, Inside Out, debuted in 1982 with his first single, It Turns Me Inside Out, hitting country top 20. Over time, he'd have dozens more hits from his more than 30 albums despite not having country roots. You will not hear country in my voice. The application of my pop sound to country music, country lyrics, is where the marriage began and where it came from. Also heard in his music, the distinct sound of patriotism. Being raised on a farm taught me a lot of things. What it means to help your neighbor. It taught me about patriotism, about loving your country, and standing up for what's right. He'd always been a champion of the military, doing USO tours from the time he was 17, and even paying an emotional tribute to Vietnam vets in Vegas with a closer he called America. I think it was 67, 66. It was during the Vietnam conflict, or it was about the Vietnam conflict. Living in Vegas is kind of a bubble, but reading the headlines, knowing what's going outside this area, you know, then in 1983, when Korean airliner 007 was shot down by the Soviets, killing 269 passengers, 61 of them Americans, Greenwood knew he had to do something. Down the road one night, I had a piano in my bus, and I set it up on my knees, plugged in my headphones, and just, you know, ran through this lyrics. God Bless the USA, his 1984 anthem for Americans, was born out of the passion he felt to heal the nation. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. First of all, my grandparents gave, lost their farm because of grain subsidizing to Russia. And that was 56, 57, about my grandparents. And then family. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. Every person, every woman, every man probably wants a family. Family is children. I 
thank my lucky stars. Flag? To be living here today, I'm a natural born citizen. I live here. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. Who are they? They is a term that represents whatever threat America has ever had. It stands for the strength of our country, which is our people. It's not really a Congress. It's not really a flag. It's not just an eagle or a lady liberty. It's the people that represented by the flags in the red, white, and blue. I think that's the most meaningful phrase for me. They can't take that away. I hadn't heard any people say for years during that time how proud they were to be just American. And I put the line there, I won't forget the men who died because that ultimate sacrifice, we have to honor that no matter who you are. Many of them died senselessly. And many of them died in wars that we can't even explain. But you still have to give that credit. Since it was first released, it has become the rallying cry for when America comes together. The first Gulf War, Katrina, and 9-11. He's performed it for presidents and at inaugurations, proud of the impact this song and his music have had on the world. I've had a wonderful long career and, and I continue to do so. And, and I watched country grow right in front of my eyes. I became part of it. I became part of the history of country music.